More on news from Afghanistan. Afghanistan's prized carpet industry has seen its sales drop by half in the last year as the country grapples with militant violence and tough competition with other countries. We were say growing violence is scaring away potential buyers for the product that already sells for around the average household's annual income. A giant loom stands against the wall of Afghan carpet weaver Ali Reza's living room in West Kabul. All day long, he and other family members hop on and off the wooden bench in front of it, busily tying knots using bits of coloured wool yarn that will create a beautiful carpet in about a month's time. It's a time-honoured craft which has weathered poverty and war over the decades to grace the floors of royalty and rich alike the world over. But these days, cheaper, inferior quality carpets made in other countries are eating into handmade carpet market. Each time a bomb goes off or the sirens of security vehicles echo over the Afghan capital, Carpet weavers worry over not just their security but their livelihood. The violence is scaring away potential buyers and demand for the carpets. As you know, due to security problems in Afghanistan, the carpet buyers, which today are very rich people, they, uh, they are not willing to come to Afghanistan to purchase our carpets. Annual carpet exports fell by half last year as traders struggled to reach high-paying buyers abroad. Afghanistan exported $38 million of hand-woven carpets in 2016-17. to A year earlier, Afghan carpet exports were worth $89.5 million and during more peaceful times nine years earlier, exports amounted to $150 million.